before I start this video, this video might be uh, insulting to some and uh, be offensive to some because it might go against your cause and such. And I want to be talking about like stuff like Black Lives Matter and uh, global, global climate change and such. And uh, social rights and uh, freedom of speech and people don't want to hear that. They like, like, always like left wing agenda though. So if you wanna if you wanna only hear that, go watch another video. I don't care. So after watching a video by a YouTuber uh, the Trinity Nicole, yeah, bright young black woman. So I started to think she mentioned some stuff about like um, defund the police and how it's mad in her. Opinion. And how like um, how celebrities and V people might be like talking about like oh like defund we should defund the police but uh, these are the people who but they're the ones who are like uh, getting uh, all the security protection and d d if there was no police around they wouldn't be affected because security is protecting them. So I uh, so I thought of that. So this is my breakdown of some. So, one is, so basically, if you are a minor, anyone who is under 19 years of age, they won't listen to you. The media and the real rest of the world, they won't listen to you. So, speaking of, let's go back to 2017. Greta Thunberg. She wrote a speech about like climate change and like how like the people, politicians are doing a bad job of it and I technically 100% agree, yeah, people aren't doing a proper job. So there could be like people who are like acting like climate change ain't the thing and it's all like a hoax and such but let's look at California right now. And uh, we Silicon Valley. <laughs> no, around the, the west. Uh, oh, it is everyone it is on fire. The temperatures are uh, like a uh, way uh, higher than they should be. So also like if you haven't if you don't already know Amazon Rainforest is on fire. Again. Only because of the like, presence of like the countries around it, uh, like, they're like just doing a bad job, and like uh, they said, like yeah, they're just trying to cut, cut some trees down for, for like more uh, land job production and such. <laughs> they would rather like uh, make more uh, buildings than actually like preserve a one, like uh, the most of the world known uh, for. Of course, that has been here there for thousands of years. And I'm quite sure this is kind of absurd, but Siberia, let's look at Siberia, Russia right now. So Siberia is like basically like this, which is the northern part of uh, Russia. It is the coldest place and that you should like, go and the temperature is like minus 50, minus 50, yet the people there are like, they know how to handle it. So every day, people like walk around with uh, jackets around, wearing because the temperature is always cold, cold there, always. Yet there uh, has been like a fire, and no one seems to care. That is outside of Siberia. So. 
So the Amazon is on fire and the Siberia is on fire, but no one actually like wants to like donate money to help like put them out. What's wrong with you people? Secondly, <clears throat> topic number two. Black Lives Matter. So if you say said like you said said I don't support Black Lives Matter but I support like a Black lives and all all lives. Yeah, they would be you'd be considered racist, especially if you were. Uh, so, to a black person, if a black person said it, they'd be like, "You're not black anymore." If if anyone else said it or who's not black, they call they call you a racist. How do I know this? I've been the victim of one. So I just like said I don't support Black Lives Matter. I just something is something is fishy about it, and uh, I just I support all lives. Like it's just and that uh, Little Wayne has a that it you didn't put a name on it. So like, hmm? so my life matters. It doesn't matter. Second to my bitches. That's what he said. Especially like celebrities are using a platform like and they uh, to like uh, social media platforms to use it like face Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, especially Instagram, and they will literally degrade anyone who speaks out against them. Entertainment companies like uh the Cartoon Network, they also did that once. I once got a, I, I commented the negatively uh, on the one of their posts because they were advertising Black Lives Matter and they, and the problem is because like, if someone, you don't know who is like using a social media account. You could be a kid. I know kids who are like, uh, who are like using our Instagram right now. And uh, if they see something, something like this and they go all political and they'll lose friends, guaranteed. So I just like defended myself and then someone attacked me and then someone defended me and another person person defended me. Yeah. Let's see, defunding defund the police. Let's see, okay. That's what we wanted to talk about. So the police are here. So one cop does, does a bad job, but that does not mean everyone is like that person. Right? So it's like the same thing as like just because of someone is a one race did something bad, that doesn't mean everyone else is is the same. No, we are not. Everyone has a different way of uh, thinking, and yeah. So, so if the police, so if you defund the police, so so if, so this is what I want to talk about. This so so if if you expect honestly expected social me, they like, so, so, uh, social workers like to go up against gangs, blood killers, people who cause homicide. Thugs and other other kind of criminals, and they would they would automatically these bad guys would automatically pull out their guns and start popping. What's popping? And start shooting at people. And they, and uh, do these people do these people know how to like train themselves to defend against people like this, like the cops do? They do not. So they. Defund the police. Uh, it was originally in the USA, but now it's starting. Now it's made its way into Canada. And let's just say, the police have a caught and done some good job. The police are over here, and uh, 
I've uh, done some good, I did some uh, good job, like uh, keeping that uh, drug, illegal drug uh, transporter to the, out of the country. Out of the country, like we arrested them, um, illegal firearms, we got the, we put, put, put them back and, uh, and we arrested people. And uh, also, also there was like a guy who I did a, uh, tried to do like a homicide on somebody and uh, they arrested that person. And people who are like speeding every day. And uh, it's uh, so like maximum speed on the highway is like uh, you can, is uh, like 100, but people are like, going on 120. Okay, that's okay. That's acceptable. But if anyone who, I've seen people go 150 or like, uh, and then uh, these are people who are like, over get um, immediately arrested by the OPP for speeding. Tar Speeding, speeding ticket, and then some people have uh, lost uh, yeah. And there have been some people who almost uh, drove at 200 kilometers, which is speedy, too fast. And well, these are mostly people who like drive uh, expensive uh, cars that you can go like fast on, like and. Yeah, they learned their lesson not to. And then there's a, there's, and also another uh, one I want to mention is uh, because of uh, some people are like uh, millennials, the newest ones, Gen Z. I am one of them. Someone called me. A, and then there's and then there's like people from the baby boomers, and then there's like Gen generation. And then a couple of generations before uh, Z. So, yeah. Someone. Yeah, someone just completely missed up. Just took my age instead of even looking at my profile. And yeah, that was big humiliation for that person. She really had it coming. Some people will really go like they won't even listen to you like uh they'll like just instead like they'll try not to cut you off and stuff and there's especially the millennials uh, they have like uh, or people like who are like uh super rich and famous and they have no respect for like uh other people and only about themselves. Just because we uh, speak uh, differently and think differently now, you know, nowadays, because uh, everything's getting more advanced and such. But uh, um, so basically, if you were like a problem who were born in uh, the baby boomer, baby boomer era, which is like 1940 to 1960 something, I think it was 1965. Yeah. So. So and if you have decided to have a conversation with someone who is a millennial, then 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 they would start hating on you.
and to get and to try to like a, get insult somebody and get out of them to get out of the certain conversation they'll call and call them up and like baby boomer right? they call me a boomer and stuff and such and someone coming and i remember someone calling me a millennial one time and bruh i was born in 2001 I wasn't born in 2009. And also media. By the media and uh, that looked all unfair. So they'll, they'll definitely definitely play favorites. I've noticed, and you should have probably noticed it too, unless you already know. So if you're famous, park them. They'll uh, they keep your. Uh, they'll uh, most likely uh, like have. Uh, Won't do, won't do anything about your post, they'll just, yeah. And then. Uh, but if you're like a. But if you're not like a, like a large and big famous person, uh, they'll mostly like, yeah. These are the people that they like, uh, like to pick on and uh, make things hard for us. I feel like basically like no, oh. or especially if they're like kind of because they are like daily, they are easy to get brainwashed and uh, especially stuff with Black Lives Matter and stuff. Yeah, so basically anyone who says says anything against uh yeah, anyone in who is using the media and uh, the media, those people will literally swamp you. They'll try to take you down by like a number by number. Just they think, oh yeah, but we have a larger uh, quantity we can like, beat beat you and uh, but well, there's always like quality versus quantity. I always say qu quality first. So just because like a, a large group, they think I uh, of only a few people. And that they think they think these large this large group they think they think they can if they can win against this a small group because they they have a larger people in numbers and uh, but yeah but when they're wrong and they they, they hate to accept it and just uh, just call it those to get out of it like I uh, saying racist and such you know they'll swear at you and. Other like foul language that uh, they were trying to like get out of. So this is why like people need really need to start listening and support the actual people because yeah they won't listen to the kids they won't support you know, people who actually know like now have a knowledge of the subject they're talking about and they have got a positive nine mind it doesn't have to be like a, a certain gender or like a race or and you or certain generation and people shouldn't even really like be picking on everybody or using their platform for like a, supporting a negative movement they shouldn't 
and the media. They shouldn't be allowing the people that like brain get brainwashed and the media shouldn't get brainwashed too and think these people they think differently are bad. They don't. They sh you shouldn't. So that's basically every everything wrong with uh, with media and, uh, and, and listening to other people's perspectives on things. So so I have provided a link link down below to uh, to meeting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.